They want to know right up front, what are the things that you're looking for? Don't, don't tell me at the end of the year you didn't do these things. Explain to me in the beginning what it's going to do that helps me grow. If I know how I'm being evaluated, I can work on that. So many organizations keep it a secret until the end when you have your review. And then they say, well, you didn't do this or that. Well, I didn't know that was important. For many of us, we are using, and I'll say it again, especially our baby boomers, the lens that we expect them to know everything before they even start work. They don't. So we have to begin to share with them what we're looking at, how we're evaluating them, what is the criteria for success in this organization. And they want, they want to have an open door policy. They want to be able to come in and talk, and they will. They will come in and talk. Now, Gen X, you don't like that because you, you are busy. <laughs> you don't like to be bugged, You're like they're bugging me. Gen X, you have to be more assertive. You have to begin to go out to them. You call the shots. You say, here, I'm going to come in. So you have to be accessible to them, but you have to do it on your time. Because if you don't, they get irritated. Millennials, don't bug them because they will get irritated. So we have to begin to understand that nature of that generation and pick a time that's good for them to share with you. And Gen X, you've got to carve the, the time out because they need it. So do the baby boomers, Gen X. You've got to carve time out for both of them. Not your favorite thing to do, I know. And the last part is career development. I say that this is the love language of this new workforce. Where do you see me in the organization? And so many times we don't want to tell people because we're not sure. But we have to show them that maybe if you volunteered more, maybe if you did this or that, you could move up because I see your talent. I see where you're good. I'm going to tell a story at the very, very end about a guy who heard me speak and he told me right off the beginning, he said, you have talent. You need to be doing this. And you know what? It's 17 years later and I still remember those words because he saw that I had talent and it kept me going. You've got to tell people what you see in them. It will keep them going. You have to pick your words because the word talent to me was a better word than, you know, you're pretty good. You have talent. I have remembered that and it has kept me in the game, even when times got tough. So you leaders, what's the language that you're using to help them understand their careers and their career development? <music>